Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Deep True Crime. I'm Manny Rodriguez. In today's episode, we are covering a new story, the Blanca Arellano story. Young lady travels 3,000 miles from Mexico to Peru only to have her life taken from her as there was a plan behind this by a man she thought she was falling in love with who actually just wanted her organs. And I'm not talking about music either. Let's go ahead and dive into this story, why don't we? A 51-year-old Mexican woman, in the pursuit of love, traveled 3,000 miles from Mexico to Peru to meet the man she met through a gaming app, an app where they gambled and they met each other there. Her trip would take a nightmarish turn, turn after her dismembered body washed up on a beach. And that's where it gets so sad, Blanca Arellano told her family at the end of July 2022 that she would be taking a trip to Lima, the capital of Peru, but not for vacation reasons. She was planning to meet the online boyfriend, Juan Pablo Jesus Villafuerte, the man she'd been in an online relationship with for several months. She was finally going to meet him in person. Her family said that Arellano was planning to visit the beach city of Huacho, where her 37-year-old Peruvian boyfriend lived. All of her family stopped hearing from her on November 7th, and they quickly grew concerned. In that final call with her niece, Carla Arellano, the 51-year-old, hadn't raised any red flags that would give her relative any cause for concern. According to authorities, she told her that the online relationship had proved to be standing the test of an in-person one and that she had even that she was even falling in love with the man. She had only known this man for a few months behind the screen of her laptop. Weeks went by before Arellano's dream vacation to meet her so-called love was revealed to be a terrifying scheme, one that left the Mexican woman's family frantically searching for her only to have their own worst nightmare confirmed. If it hadn't been for the efforts of the 51-year-old social media savvy niece, the case perhaps wouldn't have gained the initial notoriety she managed to capture. As her post about her missing aunt racked up hundreds of likes, retweets, and comments, and a lot of support from the community in Peru. She says, I never thought I would be in this situation when she tweeted, but today I'm asking for your support to spread this post and find, a, find one of the most loved and important people of my life. My aunt, Blanca Olivia Orellano Gutierrez disappeared on Monday, November 7th in Peru. We fear for her life. This was posted on November 12th, five days after they no longer heard from her. The younger Miss Arellano said in the post that she'd begun to have misgivings about the medical student her aunt had met in an online gambling forum after a conversation with him in November revealed that the pair had fallen out and his ex-lover, he claimed, had said she was traveling back to Mexico. So, she does the right thing. She decides to talk to him herself. So she writes, I decided to communicate with Juan P since he was the only contact she had in that country and that is where our fear was triggered. She wrote in a follow-up post to her Twitter thread on her aunt's disappearance. Is she okay? She's asking him this. Is she okay? asked the desperate niece, emphasizing in her series of posts how Villafuerte was the only person in the country who her aunt knew. The medical student responded by saying that he'd stopped talking to Arellano several days before and that she told him that she was catching a plane 
back to Mexico after deciding he claimed I couldn't offer the life she wanted, which was a lie. The niece noted in her post how this behavior was extremely uncharacteristic of her aunt as she would not disappear just like that ever and less without warning. Juan P is the only contact we have and he is the last person to see my Aunt Blanca alive. Until now, she has not wanted to cooperate. Until now, he has not wanted to cooperate with information that could facilitate his search and today, she added in one of the follow-up posts. For his part, Villafuerte told the younger Miss Ariano that he had done his role, but from here on out, he could no longer assist the family in locating their missing relative, claiming that he didn't know anything else from here, and I'm saying this with sadness. Take care, and I hope she gets safe. She gets safe back home, the 37-year-old man said in his last text exchange with the family. Soon after, Peruvian authorities launched an investigation into the missing Mexican woman after her niece's post began gaining more traction online. And then on November 10th, the grisly discovery of a severed finger with a silver ring still attached confirmed the worst for Arellano's family. Though the identifying fingertips had been removed, According to investigators, the family was able to match it to their missing relative with the silver ring, which they knew Arellano to wear. In the days that followed, more unsavory discoveries began washing up on the same beach in Huacho, including a faceless head, an arm, and then finally a torso, with all the internal organs seemingly intentionally excised from the chamber. An arrest warrant was issued for Villafuerte on November 17th, and he was taken in as the main suspect in Arellano's homicide investigation. Juan Pablo Villafuerte was arrested on charges of human organs trafficking, said Peru's general attorney in a news conference, in a terrifying revelation that only came to light Days after the 37-year-old medical student's arrest, Villafuerte had allegedly begun posting videos on TikTok shortly after Arellano's disappearance that appear to show him dissecting human organs, including a pancreas and a brain, El Popular reported. While searching the suspected murder's home, investigators then also found evidence of blood spattering throughout his apartment, including in the bathroom, the laundry room, and on the mattress and cleaning supplies. We have no words to express what we are experiencing, her niece tweeted on, on Wednesday, November 23rd. My aunt was a kind, warm person, full of light, intelligent, dedicated, loving, and that is how she should be remembered. Mr. Villafuerte is said to have planned to commit suicide after he was caught. A Sunday newspaper, Panorama, revealed that a farewell letter was found on the laptop of his seized property, which he planned to share on social networks after completing his suicide due to family dishonor and being designated as a femicide. This will be a fight that, will, that I will not be able to win and I will not bear the humiliation of being taken prisoner like an animal as they are branding me, reads the last paragraph that Villafuerta wrote on a word sheet. In a statement revealed by Panorama, the medicine and biology student stated, I am going to collaborate as much as possible through my innocence. I also want to be in my case. I'm innocent and I'm going to prove it. Regarding the accus accusations of organ trafficking, the main suspect in the death and dismemberment of the tour tourist replied, I am a university student. I pay for my studies by doing the work of others, helping future doctors with exams. In the report, the subject denied loving Blanca Arellano, who is known to have even sold her car in Mexico 
to come to Peru and assured that they were only virtual friends. You know, and my friends, this is what I mean. We have to be careful with these dating apps, these online gaming apps. You never know who you will meet on the other side. Sure, sometimes there are great matches that occur, but at the same time, it's a scary world. There are literally serial killers on that app. There are people that will rob you on those apps. Too many stories of people getting killed or hurt from people they meet online. And here is another sad, sad story. Something that I truly feel I wish could have been prevented. The niece, in my opinion, she is the hero. She loved her aunt so much and would not let this story die. And you can see by some of her posts. Now, you can see where she posted it in in Spanish. And I just clicked on, you know, the translation and it's translated by Google. She, tra she shares, my aunt traveled to Peru on July 27th, happy to travel and meet her boyfriend Juan Pablo Jesus Villafuerto, Villafuerte Pinto. They had a relationship for some time online. As the months went by, my aunt told me that she was happy, she was calm, and that their relationship was going very well. And then before you knew it, my start, my mind started throwing up thoughts, leaving just like that. Has your chip stopped working? I think she's more referring to like the phone right there. Um, something along those lines. For me, this didn't make any sense. My aunt would not disappear just like that ever and less without warning. When I asked him more questions about the situation, he told me the following and she starts breaking down a lot of these things you know and one of the things that i definitely want to say that you know the support her niece got from peruvians to get justice was truly beautiful it was truly something else they wanted to see justice for blanca arellano they knew this story sounded strange and out of the ordinary and they wanted answers as well and they were picketing, they were yelling, they were screaming. They wanted justice because they knew this did not sound right. And that's where it's like, you know, that's why I say it's so great that her niece was all over this story. Those are the things that make these people heroes. And you can see her post. She, you can go find her, Carla Arellano. She's been tweeting before this story even came up. She joined in July 2019. She's been on Twitter for a while, but then she knew, let me use this to get the word out. And you can see on this post on November 23rd, this is three days ago, and she shared a lot of this. And, you know, this is where it was finally confirmed. With our hearts and lives in pieces, we confirm that our beloved aunt, Blanca Arellano, has been identified as dead. We ask our family for respect and discretion in these difficult times. We have no words to express what we are experiencing. And she posted a lot. She was thanking the community. She was thanking law enforcement. She was thanking anyone who would listen to her. You know, because she saw a lot of support from the people in Peru. And those are the things that make my heart happy when, you know, they didn't let this die. These people wanted to see justice, even if the person who was being, uh, the fingers were pointed to were part, were from their country. He was Peruvian, just like them. But they was like, we don't give a flip. We want to know what happened to this girl. And... That's exactly why these, this is important stuff, right? These are the things that we don't want to ever know happens. But unfortunately, in this crazy world that we live in, it happens. We only wish it didn't happen, right? And this is exactly why I do this channel. Because at the end of the day, we need to be a little more alert of what could go wrong in this crazy world we live in. and. I want to say rest in peace, Blanca Arellano, taken from this world 
way too soon. You know, and what it looks like is he's a med student. He lured her over there so that he can use her organs, not to sell, but to use in his videos. This is still a developing story. He was just arrested, right? They found her. He's been arrested. And now he's being brought to justice on this. But until we know more, we really don't know more, right? And as this story continues to develop, if there's any big breaking news, otherwise, this guy, he needs to be, it, it looks like he did something. I mean, shortly after he has TikToks of him dissecting organs, that doesn't look right. My friends, I'm Manny Rodriguez, and this is exactly why I do these stories. So if this is the type of story you like to follow, hit that subscribe button, because at the end of the day, more people need to know what could go wrong in this crazy world we live in. And truth is, it shouldn't happen, but truth is, it does happen. So if this is the type of content you like to follow, hit that subscribe button, click on that like, and click that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I go live or I upload content. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded any content. I've been live, so if you wanna join me live, jump in, give your feedback. I normally do the comment portion at the end, focus on the story in the beginning. My friends, this is not about me. This is about being a voice for the victims. This is about keeping you aware and updated and alert what could go wrong in this crazy world we live in. This poor, unsuspecting young lady, she was pursuing love. She was following what she thought was, wow, this could be serious. She gets there, he, she starts trusting him, she lets her guards down, and then the rest is the unthinkable because he clearly is lying about her, him, the, him not being able to offer the lifestyle she was looking for. No, she wanted love. She wasn't looking for a lifestyle. She was looking for love. And that's what she was after. My friends, be careful out there. This is a crazy world we live in. We have to be careful with who we choose to trust. Until next time, be safe, my friends. Have a great day. Peace.